Myrigotomy is a medical procedure where a small hole is made in your ear's eardrum to drain fluid that has built up behind it. Sometimes, due to an infection or injury, the Eustachian tube in our ears can get blocked, causing fluid to accumulate. This fluid can take the form of water, pus, or blood. When this fluid builds up, it puts pressure on the eardrum, also known as the tympanic membrane, disrupting the balance. This can lead to difficulty in hearing, and if the fluid persists for a long time, the chances of hearing loss increase. To address this condition, the myringotomy procedure is performed. Now, let's see how the myringotomy procedure is carried out. Before the procedure, your ear is examined using an otoscope, and hearing and blood tests may be conducted. In some cases, a tympanogram procedure is performed to analyze the pressure in the eardrum. After the tests, you will be given a date for the procedure along with instructions to abstain from eating a day before. During the procedure, you'll receive either general or local anesthesia. Using a small microscope, a tiny cut is made in the ear's eardrum. If the fluid is watery, it usually drains out on its own after the cut. However, if the fluid is thick, it is suctioned out using a tube. The myringotomy procedure takes about 15 to 20 minutes. In some cases, a small tube is inserted into the cut to prevent fluid from accumulating again and to maintain ear pressure. This process of inserting a tube into the ear is called tympanostomy. The tube typically falls out on its own after about 9 to 12 months and the eardrum heals within two to three weeks. After myringotomy, antibiotic drops are given for a few days to prevent infection. Additionally, mild pain or discomfort in the ear for two to three days is a common symptom after the procedure. That's all for today. We'll see you in our next video. Until then, thank you for watching.